Yesterday, the All Progressives Congress APC national leader and presidential aspirant Bola Tinubu dropped some bombshell about his role in the political ambition of President Buhari, Vice President Noshibajo, and that of the governor of Ogun State, Apu Abiodun. Bola Tinubu says he was instrumental to the ascension into power of the trail and says now is a time for him to take a shot at the number one seat in the land for the benefit of those who have not seen that video where Bola Tinubu spoke in Abel Kuta Ogun State. I will play for you tonight. Uh, although it is in Yoruba language, and we have tried to transcribe it for you in English language, so watch out for the transcription on the, of the text on, your, on the video on your screen. First, this is a statement on uh, Muhammad Buhari by Bola Tinubu. Oleji present. Oje kini oluye olule. Oje keji olule. Oje geta olule. Oti a shokolori television. Pe laye o doron ma. Mo de lo banga zo ne wa ron oru e kon kole le. Adroti. Wa de wole. For the All right, those are the words of Balatinubu. Let's speak on these issues raised by the statement of Mr. Balatinubu and the state of the race. Um, of course, he spoke about Vice President uh, Oshibajo, he spoke about the governor of Ogun State, and several other issues that he raised at that meeting in Abelkuta. I'm being joined by a former governor of Borno State and a sitting uh, senator in, of Borno State in the Senate, Senator Kashim Shetima. He joins us live here in our studio. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for joining Thank us tonight. You. Thank you very much, sir. First and foremost, I guess uh, I'm wondering where I should start from, but let me begin from the, uh, the screening exercise. I know you may not have a lot to say about it because you were not part of the process, but if you look at the scrutiny of your party, 23 were the ones that were the people will put themselves forward. Ten have been disqualified. Um, you think that is a very strict and uh, thorough job? Well, I don't want to jump to wild conclusions. But by and large, I believe they must have done a thorough job, a just one. And in spite of the speculations in the social media, they have not released the names of those that were recommended for disqualification. But be that as it may, my own candidate, my own principal. And who is that? Ashua Jubola Ametinibu. He had contested elections in the past under a very hostile federal government. He was a senator. He was a two-time governor. And it's preposterous. It's a gratuitous insult for anyone to insinuate that he has been disqualified. So they are saying that he may have been disqualified. No, you know, when you are the front runner, you will be the subject of the most vitriolic of attacks. And if you keep on stopping to throw stones at every dog that barks, you will not reach your destination. We know where we are going. We are very confident of victory, inshallah, on Monday. And such issues do not distract us. Mm. We believe he is in the contest. What we are hearing is that the party or the screening committee seems to want to give chance for younger folks. Does that in any way inhibit the chances of your principal? I do not think so. Because it is a function of the mind. It's just a number. And there are some younger people that can perform abysmally low. My own principal has the experience exposure and a lucid mind to add value to the nation. And we are a very critical conjuncture in the current annals of Nigerian history, buffeted by all sorts of challenges, be it security, be it economy. So a leader that we need, shown is a leader who understands the dynamics 
of running a modern economy. You only say knowledge driven world. We have moved from the agricultural age to the industrial age. Now we are in the post industrial knowledge driven age. And you need a Nigerian president who has tested, who has been tested with excellent and competent leadership skills. And most importantly, with all these agitations for non inclusion and separatist tendencies around the country. You need a leader who understands the Nigerian sociology. And we don't have a better person. Uh, we'll, we'll get to the personality, yes. the competence, and the yes. capacity yes. of Bola Tinubu. Yes, but let's go to the statement he made yesterday. First and foremost, there's been a lot of criticism about what he said. First and foremost, there are those, the school of thought, of the, I mean, those who believe that it oozes, those statements ooze a sense of entitlement. And uh, it does look that um, self aggrandizement is what some people described it, of the role it played in the ambition of others, especially the President Muhammad Buhari. Does it come in a bad taste? You know, people cannot be indifferent to Bola Tinibu. Like the late Ghani Power Amy, you either love him passionately or hate him intensely. Hating him, depending on your aptitude for jealousy. What he said yesterday was not a new thing. Can anyone come out and dispute what he had said? Neither in what it gives. About taking ownership of being not responsible only. for uh, he, he President Buhari's he played a very crucial. To... He played a very crucial role in the ascendancy of President Buhari. I was a foundational member of the APC. And those that suffer from memory amnesia may forget about the role of Ashua Jutinibu in the ascendancy of President Muhammadu Buhari. If we can go down memory lane, you know, their relationship transcends, goes beyond 2015. It started quite earlier. They made an attempt at a marriage, even in 2011 election. But prior to the 2014-2013 merger and subsequent presentation of Muhammad Buhari, some almost traditional, a almost traditional ruler from northern Nigeria, led his own team, went to Ashwaju in Lagos, and told him, not in our name, he doesn't represent us. A group of retired generals equally approached Ashua Joan told him, not in our name. He is not our candidate. So also, the Northern establishment, a professor, led the team and disowned President Buhari. And to add insult to injury, the icing on the cape was a delegation from Kasina that disowned the president and said he is not their anointed candidate. He withstood all those pages. And at the presidential primaries in Lagos, Without the block board from the southwest, Buhari couldn't have clinched that problem. I was part of that. There are those who say that find uh, the ACN block and the role of Balatinubu and the southwest uh, stakeholders were instrumental. But those, who, I mean, there's those who believe that the new PDP members, the Amechi, the Atiku Abubakar, the Bukola Saraki. They are joining, took the APC as it then was without the NNNP, NPDP to another level entirely. And if not for those uh, NPDP, the APC wouldn't have been able to get a chance. Not solely what Bolatinobu did. Well, I appreciate your input. But in 2015 elections, Rotimi Amechi, as the Director General of the Presidential Campaign Council, was able to garner 69,238 votes for the APC candidate as against the 1,487,705 votes garnered by the PDP candidate. President Jonathan got the highest quantum of votes in 2015 elections in Riba State. He got the highest percentage of votes in Riba State. He got 94.44%. You know, PACs do not lie.
people may make efforts to distort history in the whole of the South South, Les Edo, President Buhari got 210,131 votes. Less than what? Less than half of what rural Yobe state contributed to the kitty. And politics, as Steve O'Neill said, is local. Your ability to generate votes establishes your relevance. But Ashwaju and his team, the Southwest, in 2011, because we have to compare figures. In 2011, the president got 72,000 votes in Oyo State. By 2015, he got 562,000 votes. In Ekiti, he got 2,689 votes in 2011. But in 2015, he got 120,133 votes. In Ogun, he got 17,654 votes in 2011, as against the 308,290 votes he got in 2015. I can roll out all this. I am, I am historically armed. Yeah. In, in uh, I, mean, I, can... I, I, I mean, a lot of people will respect the fact that you're not, uh, you're not just uh, someone who became a governor. Yes. Sir. You are astute in whatever you have laid your hands on, and respect has been given to you, your person, and your pedigree. Now, the, 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 some of the issues, if you've read, for those who have submitted on what Balatinobu said in Abelkuta, one of these was uh, that uh, it also oozed a sense of entitlement. That he said that he has oh, made Yoruba people proud and all of that, but it, now is the time of the Yoruba people, and he is a man for the job now. So those who have criticized that, that in itself is a sense of entitlement. What is wrong with him demanding for the leadership? He has paid the price, and this is a man, when his other 80 colleagues were blood John were roasted by the wily old general from Ota. He had the wits, the wisdom to stood his ground. Not only that, sir, this is a man with a ferocious pension of sacrificing his own good for the enthronement of democracy in this country. The Yorubas respect Obafemi Aulo, not because he's an Ijebu man. No. They respected him, not because he was a lawyer. They respected him because he was a transformational leader who invested heavily in infrastructure, in education. And Ashwaji Bola Ahmed Tinibu is about the most successful politician from the Southwest ever seen. He has built men and institutions. So you cannot even call him as amongst equals. It's a gratuitous insult. The Minister of Works and Housing is his protege. He's one of the best performing ministers under the current system. Rob Arik Beshola was his commissioner for works and housing for eight years. The vice president, a very cerebral person, was his attorney general and commissioner of justice for eight years. I can roll out near a day by mm. most of the ministers. So he deserves that sense of entitlement? Yes. He should be given the right of press refusal. What is wrong for the presidency of this country? For the presidency of this, country? The presidency of this country. Out of the over 200 million Nigerians? He has aspired. We have not stopped other people from aspiring for that. Position. Every Nigerian, 25 people, 23 have been screened. Any other Nigerian has the right to aspire for any position, but that does not preclude him from exercising his fundamental right as a citizen of this country, and most importantly, with the skills, with the administrative skill set and the intellect to transform. Is country. he offended that uh, maybe the president did not accord him that chance of force refusal? Let me be very, very frank with you. He wasn't offended. That particular interview was deliberately taken, distorted, embellished, and taken out of context. I have said so in so many fora. Why is it that nobody took me up on that? An idea to tell you, sir, that when the president emerged 
as the presidential candidate of the APC. He has a captive vote of 10 million in the north, but his popularity in the south was very low. It was the same southwest people that repackaged him, that brought in experts, the devil Axel Roll from the Obama team and so on, that repackaged him and sold him to the Nigerian people. You cannot dispute established facts. You may hate Bola Tinibu as a person, but as H.S. Aga said, the truth that sets men free is most often the truth that men prepare not to hear. And we'll continue telling them. I, I mean, I'm not sure it's about hatred of his person, and I think it's about the uh, conversation on the issues that have trailed the race. Um, perhaps on the issue of uh, Professor Oshibajo is another issue that's been raised. Uh, how much of... Uh, uh, offense it is for him, who, those who think the, the issue of betrayal comes to play, and also uh, not looking at the competence of a, a, a Professor Shibaju as a person. Nobody has doubted the competence of Professor Shibaju. He's a very humble, competent, cerebral person. But we believe that in terms of intellect, capacity, reach, and the ability to move this nation forward. And most importantly, for us to win the upcoming election, the best candidate that the APC has is Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu. With the name recognition, mind you, the dynamics has changed to the emergence of Atiku, Vice President Atiku Abubakar as the candidate of the PDP. We need someone who can match and even overshadow him in terms of brand name recognition, in terms of intellect, in terms of capacity, even in terms of indepatricability. So this is why we are championing the cause of Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu. He's not best among equals. He's the best amongst his mentees. You think he's the best? Yeah, certainly. So you best. mentioned Atiku Abubakar. Yes, sir. And you said that that dynamics has changed things. Yes. Uh, for those who say I'm a Lawan from the same northeast as Atiku Abubakar, is there an if? I mean, does that make the race even in that sense? Well, my own position is very simple. APC was formed by a merger of so many interests: the ACN, the ANPP, the CPC the ABGA, ABGA, and of course the new NPN. And in a multi-ethnic, multi-religious polity like ours, we have to be sensitive and conscious of the diversity of the nation. Ahmed Lawan is my kinsman, is my brother, and he holds me in the highest esteem. And I played a very prominent role in his emergence as the president of the Senate against my own kinsman, Mohammed me. But leadership goes beyond sentiments. He has spent 20 years in the Senate, in the legislature. He's a, he has a PhD in geography. He has spent a stint in the academia before joining the political industry. Does he have the administrative skill set to rule a complex nation like Nigeria? This is a million dollar question, and most importantly, sir, Can he also stand shoulder to shoulder with Anatiko Abubakar? He can't. You think so? I, that's the fact. You know, he's a peace amongst equals. Let's not delude ourselves. He became a senator with 144,000 votes. I became a senator with votes two and a half times that he garnered in Yobe. No. Go to Ohiapia or Izochuku and ask for Ahmed Lawan. The first name that will come to their mind is that of the tomato dealer who is bringing tomato from Medubri. Go to any other part of the South. Does the brand name sells? So you think Tinubu is a name that sells? Tinubu is the best person. We, we don't even have any option. What about Oshibanjo? Does the name sell? The VP? Oshibanjo is a good man. He's a nice man. But nice men do not make good leaders. 
because nice men tend to be nasty. Nice men should be selling popcorn, ice cream, and balabobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobob